I mean to brag, I don't care, but I want you to know, double vaxxed, booster, flu shot, and I'm gonna be honest, I have the shingle shot too. Traveled, went to Mexico twice, did shows, meet and greets, never got COVID. Clearly, Jesus loves me the most. Seriously. So nice, so nice. Whether you believe that was God or just a coincidence that she fell right after she said that, two things come to mind as I watch this video, two verses actually. One is in Matthew 12, 36. It says, But I say to you that for every idle word men may speak, they will give an account of it in the day of judgment. And the second one is in Galatians 6, 7. It says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked for whatever a man sows that he will also reap. What does sowing what you reap even mean? Well, in simple terms, it means your actions have consequences. In the next verse, it says this, For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. That's Galatians 6, 8, the, the verse right after. So basically, if you're sowing into your flesh, if you're sowing into your own desires, whether that's trying to do things your own way instead of God's, whether that's, um, you know, pleasing your sinful, your sinful nature instead of sowing into the flesh, instead of doing what God wants, instead of pleasing the Spirit, instead of, your fleshly desires, that ends in corruption. But if you deny your flesh and you sow into the Spirit and trusting the Spirit to guide you and to trust in God and trusting in the Spirit for your salvation, then you reap everlasting. John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. And I love that verse. Because Jews used to have to sacrifice animals for the forgiveness of their sins. But God sent Jesus so that Jesus could be the final and perfect sacrifice for all of our sins so that we don't have to sacrifice animals anymore, that if we trust in the message of salvation and repentance in Jesus, that we would no longer need to sacrifice animals, that we just have to believe in him and repent. In Romans 4, 25, it says, who, which was Jesus, was delivered up because of our offenses and was raised because of our justification. So Jesus died because of our sins. He became sin and died for us so that we didn't have to face eternal death, which is hell, because we deserve hell. And he was raised up for our justification so we could be justified in Christ. That is amazing. And in the next chapter in Romans 5, 10 through 11 says, For if we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, which is Jesus. Much more, having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we have now received reconciliation. I love this because at the end of this chapter, it says this. For as by one man's disobedience, Adam's, many were made sinners. So also by one man's obedience, Jesus, many will be made righteous. More, moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace abounded much more. So that as sin reigned in death, even so grace might reign through righteousness to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I love that so much. It does not matter what you did because the grace abounds so much more than your sin. It doesn't matter what you've done. Jesus has the gift of salvation. It's for everyone. It's for you. He died for the whole world, not just me, not just my neighbor, but for you too. And so if you want to accept this gift, if you want to sow into the spirit and accept this amazing gift, say something like this with me. Say, God, I believe that Jesus died and was raised to life by your spirit. I repent of my sin and I turn to you and trust in you alone for my salvation. In Jesus name, amen. What does it mean to repent? Repent basically means you are asking for forgiveness of your sin and you are turning, you're doing a 180 from your sin. You're gonna mess up sometimes, you're gonna fall and that's okay because his grace abounds much more. You shouldn't intentionally sin because Christ has gotten us out of that life. He died for our sins. And so, it is so amazing to accept this gift of salvation. Trust me, he will change your life if you have just accepted that gift of salvation. I am so happy.